Hello, I'm David Payton. I'm working with the European Commission for the Control of Foot and Mouth Disease. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to conduct a clinical examination for foot and mouth disease in cattle or small ruminants. It's important that you are systematic in your approach to such cases to avoid missing any lesions of foot and mouth disease and also that you take good notes. It can be very useful to record the clinical signs and lesions seen using a digital camera. Before you start, take a detailed clinical history from the owner, including the date of onset and the clinical signs seen. These might include lethargy, reduced appetite or not eating, reduced milk production, lameness, salivation and characteristic jaw movements, deaths in young animals. Observe the animals from a distance, noting the types of clinical signs seen and the number of animals affected. You should look at all of the groups of animals on the premises and select from these the animals to examine more closely. Before beginning your close examination, take care to restrain the animal appropriately. It may be useful to use a sedative. Remember that foot and mouth disease is a painful condition and to handle animals sensitively. Start by taking the animal's temperature. Animals in the first few days of an FMD infection are likely to be pyrexic. Then examine the mouth. Take care to examine all surfaces including under the upper lip, the dental pad, under the lower lip, the inside surfaces of the sides, roof and floor of the mouth. It's best to take a preliminary look at the tongue before pulling it out of the mouth as vesicles can rupture on handling and large pieces of epithelium may slough off. A cloth can help you to grip the tongue as you hold it. You should check all surfaces and feel for any irregularities. Next, check other predilection sites, particularly the teats. Check all four feet, thoroughly cleaning any dirt to make sure that you can see clearly. In cattle, lesions are typically seen in the interdigital space. In small ruminants, lesions are also seen on the coronary band and you should reflect the hair or trim it back to allow you to see this area. You should make a note of each lesion you have seen with a brief description and your estimate of the lesion's age. Take a photo if you can. In our demonstration we have focused on the examination of the most common sites for foot and mouth disease lesions. But you should conduct a full examination to cover other differential diagnoses. Music